Okay, uh, today we're going to talk about a program from Microsoft, another free one. Uh, it's called Fresh Paint, and uh, as usual, I'm going to go to the store to help everybody find the right one. So let's type in F R E S P A I N T. There's Fresh Paint. If we click here, you'll see a, a list. And there's a, the yellow one here. It says Fresh Paint Free. And if you notice down here, it's from Microsoft Corporation. Now, it's got a ton of ratings and it's four stars. I already own this app, so there's no button there, but you'll have an install button there. And it talks over here about what it is, whether you're a aspiring arts parent or kid or kid at heart. Uh, it'll help you uh, be creative. Well, guess what? I, I think uh, they're right. Let's go take a look. Uh, this detail is, talks about it, how it works on the what devices and all that. And then it works great with touch screens as well. So you can use your fingers to paint. So if we sit there and look at the reviews, most of them are four stars. A couple, couple of crabby people out here about uh, one or two stars. But uh, nonetheless, uh, let's go take a look at Fresh Paint. Like I said, I've already installed it. So it's right here. And I've already been playing around with it. You can see from some of the color blurbs and everything. But what it comes with, it comes with its own pack of fun pack. It has six uh, sets of paintings and everything. If you look here, you'll see the six paintings that are available free with it to get you started. You can There's a Finding Nemo pack. If you click here, you'll see that there's a, a whole ton of Finding Nemo pictures that your kids can play with as well. So you can take a look at those. It's only $1.99 right now, so you can take a look at that. Uh, there's other ones here. Now this reminds me very much, This the turtle reminds me very much of the old Paint by Numbers when I was a kid and everything. And uh, there's a you know, a party set, and here's your, uh, just a variety pack. Here's a uh, adventure pack and a friends pack and everything. So, anyways, th these are all very inexpensive. If you click here, you say $1.99, and you get uh, pages of all these different characters and stuff that they can draw stuff with. So, let's go back here, and we're going to use the, f the free fun pack for right now, or the, yeah, the fun pack for right now. Now, I've I've chosen the uh, this one here with the... Um, origami figures in the, the paper plane. But you'll see that it has a regular palette over here for uh, drawing and everything. It's an artist palette and everything, just like you might see a wooden palette from years ago. You have several different brushes, and you can select different brushes. For example, we're on this brush. If we click on this brush, you'll see it switches to that one in each brush. You can also change the width of each brush. So you can sit there and say, I want this brush to be bigger. It still has the style of this brush. I click on this brush here, and we'll go into this a little bit more later. You'll see how it does that and everything. It also has, I think these are shaped erasers, okay, or square square items. Right? You can add, by the way, you can drag. Uh, let's see, I think you can drag them down here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, you can drag things down here for a quick palette and everything like that. Uh, so you can have all these different available to you and everything. So you can have those. Uh, so we'll close that back up again. We'll come back over here and switch back to a brush. Oh, uh, we also have an eraser, an eyedropper for getting those colors that you want. And there's how you select your different colors and everything for your eyedropper and everything. So anyways, it, uh, see now we're that color. So uh, it does those kind of things. I think this is a chalk drawing tool. I'm not 100% sure on that particular one. But let's go ahead and uh, start playing with this a little bit. Uh, so we'll go over here, and I'll, let me right-click, and you'll see that we have we have the wide brush. So if we come over here and we start drawing, you'll see that we have a wide brush. You notice it's curvature. Now let me zoom in here. By the way, you can scroll up on your mouse. So you can get some close-in work and everything. You can see exactly where your work is. You can very detailed and everything. You can sit there and figure out exactly what you're doing with your canvas and to make your drawing and everything and do all that kind of stuff. Now, in right, any time right in the middle of this, you want to, you just come over here and say, oh, I want to use this kind of brush instead. And I right click again, I come back here, and now I'm using a different shaped brush to do different things. And by the way, I can also, of course, change to a slightly smaller one. And uh, I can also change the colors like that, come back over here. And here I am using this color over here to do certain things and go like that. Now you notice that, uh, again, let me zoom back in a little bit, you notice that you get the texture of the paintbrush that you're using. Very nice feature and everything, so it gives it more than just a, you know, color, fill in the, the color uh, with a paint bucket like you have used to some graphics program. 
And by the way, if you click down here in this box here, you'll see it goes back to the regular size and everything, so you can do that. Uh, this here, this uh, mountain uh, view, basically, is for when you want to take a look at how you're progressing. So let's zoom in a little bit, and we turn this, and it turns off your outline. So that means if you make your own outline to get you started drawing like a lot of artists do, you can go ahead and uh, turn, leave that in there and then paint around it, paint through it, paint over it, overlap it, and then turn it off. Because you may, you may have a gap here and there where you haven't applied any paint or something like that. So you can do that. By the way, you can also, if you want to undo things, you have an undo button over here. So there goes that. Now, if I want to undo this stuff, I just keep hitting undo, undo. If you go too far, there's a redo button over here. And again, we'll zoom back out and everything. So besides being able to mix up your palettes and do different things, you can mix up your own colors. You can choose it. You can clear your palette over here and start all fresh and everything. You can change your background surface by clicking on surface, and you'll see all your surfaces here. You can do that. So you go back to tools. You can take a picture. This is come go will go and get you an image off of your hard drive. Okay, or you can take a picture with your camera that's hooked up, like your webcam or something like that. But what's more importantly is you can sit there and save as. So when you're done, you can just find a place you want to put it and everything, and you save it there, and then there you'll have it. And you can print it later on and everything. So if you're pl playing around, you can do that. By the way, this works with Touch, and of course it's a Windows 8 program. So it'll work with Windows RT, okay, it'll work with regular Windows. The, the point being is that your kids, you give this to them with a tablet and they can go play in the backseat of the car on a trip for hours and without any mess. There's no oils to spill up, you know, clean up, no brushes to clean, no nothing. Just a lot of, a lot of fun to sit there and take a look at your, your uh, drawing and uh, be creative. You never know. You might find you have an artist in the family. Uh, God knows I'm not one, but the point of it is, is that uh, they can have a lot of fun, keep them occupied, uh, and you know how it is with computers. The kids will take right to it, and uh, you know pretty soon they'll be knocking out paintings all the time. So uh, I highly recommend uh, Fresh Paint for Windows 8.